Alright, so now that we're at this bonfire, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and level up again. Uh, let's do one on strength. Okay, so I'm at 14-12. Alright, so now, since I did go to that bonfire, all these guys are gonna be alive again. So I gotta make sure to kill them. Backtrack a little bit, kill this guy. If you picked up the shield or even, oh yeah, the wooden shield, that's what I was gonna check. Um, okay, so on this, you can see, okay, so the first, the first sword with the, like for this one, the 50, that's its, its uh, strength, or in a, like if it's a shield. That's how how good it is, basically. And then your next three are elemental damage. So if I had like fire resistance on the shield, lightning, or divine, then that's that. Uh, the next one, the little shield and uh, that says 180. That's my durability. And then the last one, the at the 1.0, that's my weight. Now it all affects how much weight you can carry. So my equipment load, you can see I have my HP, my stamina, equipment load, I'm holding 10, I can hold 51, but you always want to try and keep it under half of what you can hold as a maximum, otherwise it'll slow you down, unless that's how you like playing, some people play as like a tank type build, and just have really heavy armor, but they're really strong also. I like being quick so I can maneuver. So, with these guys, these guys you want to just kick them, or I'm just going to throw fireballs at them because I don't want to mess with them. Um, so, I picked up some armor back so we can see if those armor is better. So, like right now, this helmet's better than this cloth hood, so I'm going to go ahead and put that on. And so far, that's the only change. Okay, so now boxes. There's gonna be a merchant down here. See? Merchant, merchant, yes. There's actually a guy hiding in this corner. Too bad I knew about you, sir. Okay, so this merchant's over here. You can buy some weapons that might help you well, out there. early on. You seem to have your wits about you. But there's one thing I there want you are from a him that I can't I'll buy for souls. Everything's for sale. <laughs> I want his sword. But there's a couple things you want to buy before you take a sword. Because in order to get his sword, you have to kill him. So you can see there's swords, shields. I want to buy this resonance key. So I need a thousand souls. And I also want to buy arrows for when I get a bow. Now let me see if I can get enough souls real quick. So I'm going to use these ones I had stockpiled. Sorry, I'm like eating chocolate as I'm making this video. Oh, you again. I hope you brought okay. plenty of um, souls. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and buy this residence key. That'll open up a few doors later on. Thank you kindly. <laughs> so now, I'm gonna wait if I'm gonna come back to him after I get some more souls. Let's go this way. I think there's an item or something over here. Oh yeah, I remember where this leads. We have all these guys back down here. Just don't let them gang up on you. 
real easy to kill. But you want to make sure you don't overcommit. It's, it's not like regular hack and slashers where you can just button mash. You know, you gotta time your attacks. Timing is crucial. So we climb up here. Um, there's an item. I think it's a bow. No, throwing knives. But you can use that for our first, for our second boss, technically. And then, I'm actually gonna go jump over there. Hopefully, I don't miss the jump like I did before. Alright. here, and there should be a crossbow. I think this is the crossbow. Yes, crossbow with bolts. Alright, so now the crossbow is kind of weird. You can see those guys respond. Uh, the reason the crossbow is weird, you have to equip it, right? Um, but you also have to have bolts and arrows in order to use it. So I don't have any arrows at the moment. I have bolts, but I have zero arrows. So... Even if I equip the crossbow, I can't actually use it without arrows. So that's why crossbows are kind of a waste, and it'd be better just to get a regular bow. Okay, I can't see where I'm going. I don't really want to mess with these guys, but the more souls, the better. Do a plunging attack. There's that guy. Eventually, we'll get a, sh a uh, ring that we can get more souls with every enemy we kill. And then we'll really start making some money. So let's go back up here. Basically, go back to the bonfire where we just were. Now, I'm not actually going to go to the bonfire yet and rest because I'll have to kill all these guys again. But if you need to, you can. I'm just gonna go move ahead slightly before I do that. Okay, if you kill those guys right off the bat, this guy is gonna come in through the door. Now, if you're respawning at that bonfire and you've already been through this, that door's already gonna be open. So as soon as you run, like to right here, he's gonna be right there waiting for you. This door can't open right now. It does not open from the side. So we'll have to open that later. And it'll create a shortcut to another area. Now there's two guys in here. There's one right here. Take him out pretty quick. There's another guy right around the corner. So both those guys you can take out pretty quick. And then there's an item in here. I don't remember what it is. Black fire bomb. Sweet. So even more throwing stuff. So, this first boss we're going to come up to in Undeadburg, he's pretty easy if you just use throwing items. You can use throwing knives, uh, fire bombs, doesn't matter. I'll probably just use my pyromancy flame, since I don't, oh my gosh, since I don't have a good uh, melee weapon yet, which that's what I'm going to go back to get here in a second. But I want to level up first. Basically... I gotta get my strength and dexterity up to 14 and 14. So I need to level up t two more times for dexterity. And then I can wield the Uchi Katana. Now the Uchi Katana. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh no, no, no. No, no. No, no, no. No, no. I'm stuck. Oh crap. Oh my gosh. How am I alive? Drink that. Drink that flask. Woo! I should not have survived that. I'm not even lying. Alright, let's go back up here. Normally, I don't even mess with these guys because I I always just die from stupid stuff. Like, I can't even explain it. And I'm pretty sure this item up here isn't even worth me dying like four times. Yeah. Yeah, that's not worth it, really. Okay, so... Now let's go over here, because there is a little drop-off. Imminent magic. I don't know what that means, necessarily. 
there are secret doors every now and then. Okay, so I guess that's just a way to get down. Um. Oh, my foot's falling asleep again. Alright, so... I'm gonna go ahead and heal. I'm gonna kill a few more guys, then go back and level up. Because so, I really want to get that Uchi Katana before... I go and face this boss. Because I'm going to plan on using that. I'll also show you how to, get, how to get the Drake Sword. That'll be a separate video. Because I'm not planning on getting the Drake, like using the Drake Sword. It's way overpowering early on. So if, I mean, if this is your first playthrough, you can obviously use that. I just, I personally don't like using it right off the bat. Because I like more of a challenge. So if you use that resident key, you can get gold pine resin in here. That is also helpful for bosses. Basically, you apply it to your right-handed weapon, and you'll have electric damage. Ooh, I did not see that guy. Throw a fireball. Throw a fireball. But having lightning damage, you'll do a lot more damage. So bosses, it's especially helpful, and especially if it's bosses that are weak against lightning, then you do even more. So kill those guys. Those guys you really want to kick. You know, do that kick move, like that, stun them, knock them back and kill them. Okay, now down here, there's a knight. Don't mess with this knight yet. This guy will aggravate the crap out of you. Do not mess with him yet. There's an item over there? Yes. We can come back to get that. That's not a big deal. All it is is a ring. And that way is a dead end, so don't go that way either. But don't mess with the knight yet. He will kill you right now. You're not strong enough to take him on. Don't mess with him. Okay, there's a trap right here. So just kind of trigger that. It'll fall down, and then this guy will chase you. Now that's only for the first time you get to this point. Every other time you walk through here... There will not be that trap. There will still be the guy, but not the trap. Okay, now, I believe this is one of the doors I can open with the master key. Okay, don't, if you pick the master key, do not go through this way yet. This is way too high of a level for you to do yet. I'm not even going to go down there because I know what's waiting behind those doors. I'm not going to do it. Okay. So, I'm going to go up here. And there's actually the boss is going to be over soon. I believe there's a lizard in one of these barrels. Nope, it's the next floor. Okay, so throughout the game you'll find these lizards. I'll kind of try and show you before I kill it. But they, they run away and they get to kill them quick. That thing right there. Okay, so if you kill them, you get Titanite. And you get special Titanite, like twinkling chunks, whatever. Not your normal Titanite shards. Now, whenever I finally get to the blacksmith, I can do a whole video dedicated to explaining smithing. Because that is another part of the game that it does not explain a single thing to you. Okay, so, now you know what? I'm actually going to go ahead and fight this boss, because when you fight him, you go through the top, basically you come from above where that other that bonfire was, and you drop down and you just create a shortcut so then instead of running through all that stuff we just did we can climb up the ladder and get to where we're gonna be so I'm gonna go ahead and fight this boss uh, come out the white light and you're fine still but notice you can't leave like there's a, another white fog that's whenever you know there's gonna be a boss fight you cannot leave so if you die against the boss your souls will be on this part. And there's been times I've stuck for like 30 minutes and I die on a boss and I just try to pick up my souls and I pick them up and I die again. And it's a vicious cycle. So, just forewarning, whenever you go to white lights, don't go through unless you're ready for a boss battle. That, that is the only time go through a, a white light. Unless you know for a fact it's not a boss. Okay, so what you want to do, you want to climb up this ladder first, take out these guys. They're going to really annoy you whenever you're fighting this boss. Because they'll just keep shooting at you. First time I beat the boss, like on my very first playthrough, I didn't even know they were up here. 
I didn't even know there was a ladder to get up here. And so I beat the boss while they're firing arrows at me. Alright. Um, if you climb down the ladder, double tap B, we can slide. Alright. So now here's the boss. <coughs> this boss, like the first demon, there's only like three moves, but you gotta time your dodging. Don't try to block yet. Your shield's not strong enough. You might. It might block some of the damage, but you're better off just rolling. That's why I like to be quick. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually have throwing knives and my pyromancy flame ready. Because I'm just going to try and kill him as quick as I can. As soon as you walk across halfway of this bridge, he'll show up up there. There he is. And there we go. Taurus demon and roll. Those, you know, 36 damage from one throwing knife, so you can keep throwing those knives and bombs. My pyromancy flame's gonna be doing most of my damage here. Just make sure you don't waste them like I did. Alright, so see, I got hit, but I didn't do much damage. Because I timed it right. Oh, for real? You're gonna be like that? Oh, I'm out of fireballs. Crap. You can actually roll... Oh, dang. Roll away. I need to heal. Heal? Okay. You kind of want to walk, take a couple steps towards him, and then take a couple steps back. As soon as you see him start to move for an attack, roll out of the way. So now he's going to do his smash move. Throw a knife. Throw another knife. He's going to jump attack. Back. Throw a knife. Throw another knife. Okay, I'm out of knives. Watch out for that move. Alright, now I'm at the end of the bridge. I need to go back to this side. Oh. Don't roll off the bridge, because you can roll off. Okay, I need to heal again. Firebomb. Firebombs do a lot of damage too. I also got those black ones, I believe. Black firebombs. I'm running out of space again. Okay, so shortly I'm gonna have to. Listen. Ah. Okay, there we go. You just wanna make sure he doesn't corner you, that's the main thing. This guy's not that bad, but he can definitely give you some trouble. You're not ready for him. Firebomb. Should be one more. One more firebomb. And I missed. Are you for real? Oh dang. Take him out. Take him out. Yes, son. Alright, he's gone. Sweet. There's that boss. Not too bad. Notice I didn't die from him. I still have two deaths. Those from stupid stuff. Not even hard things. Um, I believe there's an item in this one of these boxes. I think it's this one. Yeah, here we go. There's an item. Okay. Uh, alright. I'm almost to where I can get my soapstone. And then I can summon people. Sweet. Uh, I'm actually not going to go that way yet. That door is locked. Okay, so to get to the bonfire, first, actually, first I'm going to go talk to this guy. This guy over here is where you get your white summon stone. Make sure you talk ah, to him. Hello. You don't look hollow. Far from it. I am Soler of Astora, an adherent of the Lord of Sunlight. Now that I am undead, I have come to this great land, the birthplace of Lord Gwyn, to seek my very own son. You find that strange? Well, you should. No need to hide your reaction. I get that look all the time. <laughs> okay, so talk to him again. 
Oh, aha. So I didn't scare you. I have a proposition, if you have a moment. What is your decision? Yes. The way I see it, our fates appear to be intertwined. In a land brimming with hollows, could that really be mere chance? So what do you say? Why not help one another on this lonely journey? You want to say yes? It pleases me greatly. I mean, yes, well, then, you could say no, but you want to say yes, then you get your soapstone. We are in this strange being. Now, strange as soon land. as my little brother the Fur gets online, is convoluted. he can the summon me and I can summon him as long as we're within out. so many the levels. Very fabric wavers and relations shift That's and what I'm going to do for the next boss fight when I get there. Your world and mine will Which in the next boss fight but would be the gargoyles. The bell Cross tower the gargoyles. The world, Those will be fun. And engage in jolly cooperation. Of course, we are not the only ones engaged in this. But I am a warrior of the sun. Spot my summon signature easily by its brilliant aura. If you miss it, you must be blind. <laughs> and I believe if you talk to him a third time, you can join his covenant. Oh, hello there. The sun is a wondrous. If only. No, never mind. I remember. To join the sun covenant, it's actually kind of difficult. Like, it takes a little bit. Basically, you have to get your stats to your. Uh, which is it? I think it's your faith. Don't quote me on that. It's either intelligence or faith. But you have to get it up to level 25. And then pray at this altar that's across the bridge. And then you can join the covenant. Or, if you get summoned into someone's world and you help them beat the boss, each, t each time you beat a boss, it goes down by 5 how much you need. So, like, if you need 25, you and, like, whenever I help Fur beat a boss, I only need 20. If I help him beat another one, I only need 15, so on and so forth. So, that's one way you can make it easier. Alright, so, to get back to the bonfire. Okay, this door's locked, we gotta get a key for that. You gotta cross this bridge. Now, the dragon is going to show up, so you just wanna kinda sprint across. Real quick, and maybe he won't kill you right off the bat. Normally he just does a light attack right from the beginning. And you want to run down the stairs. Just like that. Right, so now this is where we need to go. But we're going to go down through this door. Make sure you kick this ladder. If you do not kick this ladder, you got to go all the way around. Climb down. Alright, and we are back at this bonfire. 